Hello everyone and welcome to our tech channel. As always, we're going to bring up an exciting video about new technologies. In particular, we're going to introduce you to something revolutionary that is even akin to a science fiction movie. It is about 3D printing houses. It is indeed a construction technique that could really change the world. How does it work? What are the techniques used for? And before answering these questions, we invite you to subscribe to the channel and activate notifications. Let's go. From ancient times to present day, man has always been fascinated by construction and grandeur. Mankind has never stopped pushing its limits to build great inefficient buildings. For some time now, 3D buildings printing has turned into this field upside down. With this new technology, 3D printing of a house can be done on a large scale. Before understanding this revolution brought to you by this technology, let's discover how 3D printing works. Also known as additive manufacturing, 3D printing is a technique that primarily creates objects in relief. It is done by using computer data and a 3D printer, of course. This technique seems mind-boggling, doesn't it? However, the printer prototypes were created in the 80s. Since then, the techniques have been improved to achieve remarkable results. Today, 3D printing is used in many fields. It can be used in construction for models of architects and the manufacturing of parts and even the creation of prothesis in medicine. With its popularization, it has become accessible to everyone. You can even create small everyday objects at home. But how does it really work? The 3D printer uses the same techniques as an inkjet printer. The superimposes different layers of material to create objects. From a software, it allows you to give a life to digital models drawn. There are currently different materials that can be used in this printer. Plastics, ceramics, metals, concrete, and even food. 3D printing is done in three steps. The first is to create 3D models. It is possible to use 3D software or other devices to design for this. This step creates a digital file. This file will then be used as a basis for cutting with the slicing software. The second step consists of selecting the materials to be used in the printing. The choice depends on the realizations to be carried out. And the third step is the actual printing. As if by magic with a simple click, the printer creates a 3D model object. In building 3D printing, it uses the same techniques. But it is done on a larger scale and with much stronger materials. But before we go into any further, we need to understand how 3D building printing works. It differs from conventional 3D printing in a few ways. First, its technique is divided in two ways. The first involves using printer attached to an arm for an on-site construction. The second involves the factory that prints the various components of the house one by one. They are then simply assembled on the building site. The other difference is the materials used. With 3D printing, you're supposed to be seeing materials like plastic, resin, or other things. In building construction, on the other hand, you need concrete, cement, or plasticizing substances. It is even possible to opt for natural materials. Today, there are three types of these printers. The first is the gallery type 3D printer. The latter consists of three axes and a print head. It is used for printing a house and compartments or as a whole. The second is a delta printer. It is used for the realization of more complicated forms. And lastly, the robotic 3D printer. It is one of the most used in construction sites. Its advantage is that it allows you to build an entire house on site. In general, the printing of 3D building is done layer by layer. The materials are done in the form of paste. This paste comes out of the printer like a pastry case. The printer can superimpose layer after layer to build the foundation, then the walls. In the other cases, the printer can also spectralize in brick making molds. These are then simply stacked one by one to form the wall. This is especially true for concrete 3D printers. Certainly, 3D printing of a building is still in its infancy. If so, why is it being cited as the revolution in the construction world? In fact, 3D printing has many major advantages that are hard not to consider. In particular, it is the ecological technique. It responds perfectly to the policy on the preservation of the environment. This is due to the possibility of using environmentally friendly materials. In addition, it does not produce any waste. This is not the case with our traditional construction methods. In addition, this technique does not leave any leftover materials. This is a great saving. If we compare it to the classic construction, it does not require many workers. This considerably reduces the cost of construction. But the biggest advantage is undoubtedly the duration of the construction of the foundations. Indeed, the printing of the entire house can be done in just a few days. This shows how efficient 3D printing really is. But 
this is really the case, why are there still only a handful of 3D houses in the world? Despite all this, 3D printing in buildings has its limitations. The first is the price of the printer, which is still very expensive. It would cost millions of dollars to acquire such a device. This is why it is still difficult to individual to make such an investment. Most of the time it is companies that have resources to these materials. On the other hand, some works in the house are not yet included in the 3D modeling program. This concerns, for example, the plumbing work. The invention of the professional's insert areas are therefore necessary. We also notice the quality of the finishing levels something that to be desired. For example, the exterior walls of the house are not smooth. But, whatever the case, we must not give up. Humanity has already taken a big step in the future, will this tell us if it's the right path to choose? At the same time, worker injury statistics show that the construction remains among the riskiest jobs. It estimates 5,333 workers die every day in construction sites. 3D printing has the potential to reduce accidents and deaths on construction sites. This is because it will take construction safer and automated. Automated construction requires standard, rigorous, and complete digital construction information. This makes 3D printing more accurate and efficient. There will still be minimal work to do to human error and conflicting information. In addition, the risk of damaging to store material assembly to work in progress is minimized. The main reason being the materials are not stored or transported on site. Given that labor storages are already affecting the construction industry, 3D printing comes at the right time. Nevertheless, 3D construction requires a more specialized skill set, and that is to be selected and is from a very small pool of potential candidates. Finding qualified workers to work in construction with 3D printing will be a challenge in the future, but there is now strong evidence that 3D printing is reliable. It is usable in the construction industry, and it is likely that the technology will become more mainstream in the coming years. Now the question is where it can be used with any necessity in construction sites. Using it as a prefabrication tool seems like a good start to changing the world. 3D printing is certainly an interesting concept, but it is important to be critical for this hype. Skeptics will say that this technique has certain illuminations. Optimists say that this revolution is already being printed brick by brick. Our video has already come to an end. You now know everything about this new construction technique that is 3D house printing. Don't forget to subscribe and activate notifications to stay up to date with our topics. And a little blue thumbs up will also make us really happy. Thanks, and see you soon on A-Tank.